This episode of River Reboot is brought to you by Empire Mechanical. They did such a great job putting in my HVAC system that I sent them to work on my mama's stuff. Hey, and look, if you take somebody home to mama, that's a serious relationship. So if he nares your desire, just call Empire, Empire Mechanical. And they specialize in commercial and industrial solutions. Video says we're going to be changing the oil on a Verado 350. It's a 2016 model. As you can see here, I got the correct oil for Mercury 350. Make sure you check the owner's manual. All this stuff can be found online pretty easy. You're going to need a 12 millimeter uh, socket and ratchet. And you're going to need an oil filter wrench and um, an oil filter. Make sure you got enough oil. These engines hold like 7.4 quarts of oil. I didn't think they held that much, but hey, they're bigger than you think. It is a, a six cylinder. And last but not least, you're going to need a special part. This is a Quicksilver 8928668A01 oil drained uh, filter kit, uh, drip kit here. Okay, before I put this drip paint on here, I want to show you guys some. If you don't put that little extension on there, you cannot get a full bite on this on this bolt right here. And if you do that, you might strip the head off. So be careful not to do that. Make sure you put the little small extension on there so that the uh, socket will fit firmly up on the nut. On the See the difference right there, how the socket goes all the way up flush? Because when you put the extension on, you have room here for the socket head. I just want you to be aware of that. I've uh, stripped things out before. Ask me how I know. Okay, time for my special Quicksilver drip pan. It just goes right in like this. And you see I can get up under there to the bolt and the oil will come down here and run down and hit into my bucket without getting into the water intake and getting all over the outdrive. Nothing too fancy there. It works. I got a little bit of painter's tape on there. The wind is horrendous out here. Sorry about that if you're picking up some of that noise in the video. But now that I got it in place, you just want to put your ratchet on here and loosen her up, loosen the bolt. Now, I did break it loose a little bit earlier, so I would be able to do this easy once I got up in here. There she comes. She's still rolling. Takes a lot of oil, more than you think would be in that motor. Now that all the oil's dripped out, you just want to put the plug back in, get it started, make sure it's not crossing there or nothing. There you go. I'm put your ratchet back on and snug her up. And I'll remove the pan and I'll tighten her up. Okay, I have time to remove the pan. I did get a little bit of oil behind here, but nothing too, uh, too major for a homemade system. Just gonna wipe that, make sure it's clean. And then last, you wanna just tighten up this bolt right here, make sure it's good and snug. Make sure you got the ratchet on there where it won't strip it. Cause they're rather tight when you go to break them loose, so you wanna get it good and snug. River Reboot Coffee start every day on the river. The next thing we gotta do is get to the oil filter, so we gotta remove the cowling. And come on in, right here is the oil filter you see we gotta replace. Tell you what, be very careful. I got up on a ladder so I get here because all these wires and these lines are very close. Be careful that you don't cut them or scar them with this oil wrench. Very tight fit in here. I didn't. I had to go down to Uncle Kenny's shop and borrow this. Just finished taking her off. Make sure that you got this uh, seal right here on it. <clears throat> Make sure everything is clean here, ready to go back for the new one. Move a little plastic cover. And you always want to put a little thin uh, thing of oil around here to clean oil. You can run your finger down in the bottle. Just put you a little bit right here. Okay, she's ready to go back on. 
Just want to take your time, make sure it's not cross-threaded. The Mercury manual, manual says as soon as you touch base, you're supposed to go one turn to three quarters turn. So the label's facing me. I should go around to the label's facing me again. There we go, that's one full turn. All right, I'm in between uh, rainstorms here. This is the old plug, the old where you fill it up. And the dipstick is on the other side. I'll show you that when we need to check it. Let me put some oil in here. Cause I know it holds 7.4 quarts. So we wanna put one of the large jugs in already. Go ahead and get that done. Now it's time to put the oil in the motor and we'll be finished with this job, get everything back together. Right, right here's your dipstick. If you're not familiar with that, you need to be. You need to be checking your oil in your engine. We'll wipe her off and see. Now the owner's manual says you're supposed to be in the middle of this crosshair section. Put your cap back on. When you're done adding oil. Okay, can you see that? It's halfway up the checkered section. That's what the uh, owner's manual says. All right, so now you just got to put all the cowling back on together and you complete that job. another job well done just save yourself some money uh i'm gonna keep doing the maintenance my yearly maintenance on this mercury 350 verado hopefully you can save some dead presidents hey why i'm out here in the middle of between rainstorms because the bite waits for no one so next time i'd like to thank uh empire mechanical uh river reboot coffee and uncle kenny to help me get this job done the last thing i'm gonna do is pour this old oil in these uh containers so i can take it into the landfill and put it back in the recycle bin there